What's up guys, it's Raw FIFA Gaming and welcome to the ninth episode of the West Ham Career Mode. We're really getting into things now. The first game of today's episode is away to Everton. This is the Everton lineup. Lukaku starting up front. Ross Barkley also in the team. It's a very good team, very strong Everton side. It's gonna be a hard game. This is our team, the same team we've been playing for the last few games, but Parfit Williams staying in that centre forward role. He's been doing very well lately. We've started badly there in the fifth minute. Adrian yeah, makes a good save though to keep it a nil nil. But now in the 21st, Everton coming forward once again with Lay and Baines. He chips it in and Kiyati goes to clear it. And surely he's been fouled there. The ref gives no foul and Everton take the lead. I mean, we'll have to see that on the replay again. Gareth Barry finishes it off. He was in loads of space there and with his weaker right foot puts it in the back of the net. But Kiyati. He just goes to kick it and Lukaku seems to push him but the referee says no. I thought that was a foul there but Gareth Barry scores his first goal of the Premier League season and we're 1-0 down early on in this game. But now Mark Noble just a couple of moments later puts it into Parfit Williams, into Pedro Obian. What can he do? Into Lanzini, Lanzini back into Parfit Williams. It looked inevitable that we were going to equalise there, but a great save from Joel Robles stops that. And Parfit Williams once again with the opportunity. Terrible shot, though. Went miles wise of the post, as you'll see on the replay. Good ball from Payet in loads of space for Parfit Williams. And you'd think that was a deflection, but, for, but unfortunately it was not. Parfit Williams coming forward once again. He's having a good game so far, getting really involved. And it eventually found its way to Mark Noble, who on his weaker foot put a good shot in, but a good save in the corner from Joe Robles, who's had a very good game so far. And now Lukaku puts it in. And McCarthy almost doubles Everton leads there. But that is how the first half would end now. Just a couple of minutes after the first half. Lanzini now on the ball. Puts it into Mikel Antonio. And he scores the goal. But if you look at the scoreline there. It still says 1-0. And that's only for one reason. Because it is offside. Unfortunately Antonio has gone a second too early. And it is still 0-0 in this game. Now Everton have the chance to double their lead. It's into McCarthy. Good shot from McCarthy there, but unfortunately for Evan, he could not put that in the back of the net. But we are lucky not to be 2 0 down here. McCarthy just inches wide of the post. Adrian definitely couldn't have saved that. But now in the 69th minute, Ross Barkley comes forward and hits the bar. We're hanging on by a thread in this game, but we need to get the equaliser sooner or later. Now Evan coming forward once again, this time with Romelu Lukaku. We're looking for the offside flag, but we're going to be looking for a long time because it doesn't come. Un unlike Antonio's goal. Their goal counts. It was very close to onside, very close to being offside. Um, I think it's Romelu, yeah, Romelu Lukaku with the goal in the end. A nice little finish to keep his ridiculous record up against West Ham. I think he, he, he he's um he's got about ten goals in a ten games against West Ham. We do pull one back as you can see there in the 90th minute of Antonio, but unfortunately it won't be enough. Good little finish there, good little sweep in the bottom corner from Mikel Antonio as Robles comes out to get his th I think it's his yeah, third goal in the Premier League season. So a good little way to end the end the game. But a poor performance really it wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible but Everton were on top for a lot of the game. And really could have gone more. It was just some poor finishing from them. They really could have won by more than 2-1. But the next game is a game <laughs> at the dreaded stadium at the moment. I mean, we just cannot win there. I don't think we've won there this season except for in the EFL Cup. We, It's just... It's, it's our bogey place and it doesn't help when your bogey places at home but the game is against Stoke City they've got a good team out today but Stephen Island's playing at Cam which I was quite surprised about but it's paid off because in the first uh, in the second minute he puts it through to John Waters and John Waters goes and celebrates with the manager after slotting it into the bottom corner lovely finish there from Waters but more poor defending in the third minute there absolutely terrible good little ball from Ireland but Waters finishes it but just terrible defending Adrian's moaning to his defenders, just a huge gap. Winston Reid gets pulled out. Ogbonna can't make it, and a finish from Jonathan Waters to get his first goal of the Premier League season. So, another very poor start to the game. But in the eighth minute, we're looking to get straight back in it with Momo Lanzini. Surely it's going to go in. And somehow, somehow we've missed. 
Lanzini now cuts it into Antonio. Antonio into Fernandez. Late on in the game. Fernandez gets the goal in the 77th minute. And we've got a chance of winning this game now. There's still time. There's 12 minutes to go. We really need to win this game. Edin Milson Fernandez with a lovely little finish there into the bottom left band corner. Um yeah, there's still time, there's still time, but I don't know, it's not looking it's not looking great at the moment. Second goal in the Premier League for Edin Milson Fernandez, but we come forward once again with that man Fernandez. It's Simeone Zaza, but his shot is blocked. And as you can see, Stoke eventually get the ball away. And that is how the game would finish. Another disappointing result, a one all draw at home to Stoke City. I mean, the season has gone pretty much identical to West Ham's season in real life. As you can see, look at the table. In real life at this point, West Ham was 17th in the table. In this career mode, they are 16th. I mean, it's, it's just gone. It's just been completely identical to West Ham's season, but that's not what we want. <laughs> that's not what we want at all. We've got some hard games coming up now, some really challenging games. We've got Tottenham to come, uh, Man United as well, so some really hard games to come, and I think we've got Arsenal as well, but that's how we're sitting in the Premier League table. Let's get into the youth squad episode, and I seem to be saying this every single episode now because the senior team are just doing absolutely terrible. But let's get into the youth part of the episode, and hopefully they can do better. Okay, guys, so we're now into the youth part of the episode. This is a game against Burnley, away to Burnley at Turf Moor. Should be quite a tough game here. This is Burnley's side. They've got Ashley Barnes and Bamford up front. They've also got Tarkowski in defence, who I also recognise. This is our team, the usual team we played. We do have two new additions into the team. Resnick and Jehoda of both 58 rated, a centre attacking midfielder and a right back have both come up through the youth squad. And Jehoda has already lost the ball there and that could cause a goal on his debut for West Ham and Jehoda making his debut for West Ham has pretty much has pretty much gave Burnley a goal there I mean we still could have defended it a lot better but O'Neill gets it and puts it into the bottom corner I don't know if Spiegel could have done better there didn't seem to do very well with that but O'Neill gets his second goal in the Bundesliga and unfortunately guys that is how the game would end Another really poor game in the youth episode. Hopefully we'll be getting more highlights for you because we haven't been getting great highlights lately for the youth episode. But that is the that is the end of the youth uh, the youth league episode. So yeah, the the youth the yeah the league youth part of the episode that we we finally got there. It, we are sitting seventeenth, which is absolutely dreadful. We are one place off bottom, which is just oh, it's just terrible. Thirteen points off the or off the playoff places already, so we definitely got some improving to do. But let's get into our check of trade trophy game against Wickham Wanderers. Okay, guys, we've got the final game of the episode now. This time against Wickham Wanderers. It's a home game at the London Stadium. Hopefully we can get the win here and increase our chances of getting through in the Check of Trade trophy. But that's not going to help here. Because Wickham Wanderers are already 1-0 up. A terrible start to the game. And actually, this is probably our most important game that we'll play in the Check of Trade trophy. Because we've got three more games to go of the group. And Wickham Wanderers are sitting in second with, uh, in the uh, qualification places with seven points and I believe we've also got seven points in third so we really need to beat Wickham to get into them uh, uh, qualification places but it ain't going to help if we keep conceding like this once again Michael Harriman with an unbelievable finish not much we could do about it to be fair but he shouldn't have been unmarked there out on the right but I mean the finish was just incredible exquisite for a league two quality not much we could do about that but look at the amount of space he has out here on the right not sure where the left back is no feels there uh, sliding at his shot but he couldn't get there in time but what a drive that was from Harriman unbelievable finish there and it looks like we're in big trouble for this game but now we're in the 65th minute looking to try and get it back into things trying to get the comeback just like we did against Northampton in the last game in the Checker Trade Trophy and we do actually get a penalty here and it's a red card for Wickham as Daniel Rowe gets sent off and yeah we've got a good chance of getting back into the game Edda Milson Fernandez steps up for the penalty and I thought we'd saved it there for a second but Edda Milson Fernandez scores despite the keeper going the right way 
grabs the ball, gets back, and now we're back in this game. Wickham are now down to 10 men. Hopefully we can capitalise, get the equaliser, maybe even go for the win. Might be going a bit far, but hopefully we can get the equaliser. Tony Martinez wins the ball in the 88th minute, and who else? Who else would score a goal in the youth team but Tony Martinez? What an unbelievable finish that was from the lad there. Steps on the advertising board. Absolutely fantastic from Tony Martinez. He's had an unbelievable season for the senior team and the youth team. Obviously, mainly the youth team, as that's where he's been getting all his appearances. But he loses the ball there, wins it back. Great tackle there and a lovely little finish off the post and into the back of the net. He gets his third goal in the Czech Trade Trophy, which is very impressive, actually. I think he's doing really well in real life in the league and in the Czech Trade Trophy. But unfortunately, we didn't... Uh, we wasn't able to get the win. That sounds a bit weird to be saying, unfortunately, considering that we had, we were actually two 0 down late on. But I did think we could make. I did think we could maybe uh, get the win in that game, even after we scored that goal. Tony Martinez had a close chance there that we really could have won the game. But unfortunately, we don't get the win. But that will be the end of the episode. Not a great episode today. The two player of the episodes are Mikel Antonio. First of all. I thought he was fantastic uh, in the what game was it where he scored the goal? He was yeah, he, I thought he was fantastic in the Everton game, despite getting the loss, and he was also very good in the Stoke City game. And for the youth team, it will be Spiegel. He saved us on many occasions in them couple of games. So yeah, thought he was fantastic. But that'll be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to say to you guys just about the uh, the social media idea that I had. Um, yeah, you won't be seeing it every month of the career mode because it's really long to do and the months are quite short. So I thought we'd be doing it too often. So I will be doing it every five episodes. Obviously, you would have seen it at the start of the episode. Yeah, so I just wanted to clear you up on that, guys, just in case you were wondering why I wasn't doing it every month. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Just like I said, remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I've been Rothy for Gaming. And I'm out.